Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on solving quadratic inequalities. This is an A-level maths video for core one. So let's have a look at our first question. The question says, find the values of x which satisfy x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than 0. So what we need to do is we need to draw this graph because the question wants to know when is this graph, x squared minus 4x minus 12, less than 0? Well, the way we plot this graph is by factorising. So if we factorise this x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than 0, we need to put it into two brackets. And from our previous videos, we know we need to look at the last number, the minus 12. And we want two numbers which times together to give minus 12, which when we add them up will give us minus 4. And you can see that that would be minus 6 and plus 2. Because when we times them together, we will get minus 12. And when we add them together, we will get the minus 4. So when we factorise this, we will get x minus 6 and x plus 2. So we are saying that when is that less than 0? So the reason we factorised it is because then what we can do is we can sketch the graph. And we can use the factorised values because we know that when we factorise it, we get two answers of when it equals 0. The first one is when x is 6, because when x is 6, it will equal 0. The other one is when x is minus 2, because when x is minus 2, this bracket is 0. So let's put those two values onto our x-axis. So we know it crosses at 6, and we also know it crosses at minus 2. And we know because this is a positive x squared, this is going to be a u-shaped graph. So if I draw my u-shaped graph, it will look something like that. So what I've done then to recap is I've um, factorised this equation so that I could sketch the graph. And the question says, if I just repeat here what it says here, it wants to know when the graph is less than zero. So which part of this graph is less than zero? Well, that means the part of the graph which is underneath the x-axis. So I'm going to highlight the part of the graph which is less than 0. This part of the graph here is less than 0. So the values that x can be is anything in between this minus 2 and the 6. So my x values are in between minus 2 and 6. And the way we write that is like this my x values are in between minus 2 and 6 because if we read this it means that x is greater than minus 2 but x is less than 6 so this is the answer any values of in between those two numbers will give me an answer which is less than 0 so all you got to do with this question really is factorize and plot the graph and then look at what it says let's have a go at another question this question says x squared minus 7x plus 10 is greater than 0. So it's the other way around this time. It's greater than 0. So same method. What we're going to do is we're going to start by factorizing so that we can plot the graph. So when I factorize this, I want two numbers at times together to give this plus 10. But when I add them up, I'm going to give minus 7. So the answers for those two numbers are minus 5 and minus 2 because minus 5 times minus 2 will give us plus 10. And when we add minus 5 and minus 2 together, we will get this minus 7. So when I factorise it, I will get x minus 5 and x minus 2. Well, that means that my two answers that will make this 0 are when x is 5, because five, when you put 5 into this bracket, it will go 0, or when x is 2. For the same reason, when you put 2 in this bracket, it will turn into 0. So... I want to draw what this graph will look like. Well, I know this graph will cross at 2, x is 2, and x is 5. So if I put those onto my x-axis, and again, I know this is a U-shaped graph because it's a quadratic and the x squared is positive. So it's a U-shaped graph which goes through these points. It will look something like that. Well, this time, the question wants to know when the graph is greater than 0. So, which parts of the graph are above the x-axis? So, I'm again, I'm going to highlight which parts of the graph are above the x-axis. 
Well, this part of the graph is above the x-axis, and this part of the graph is above the x-axis. So let's have a little think now about what the x values can be. So if we look this side, the x values, anything bigger than 5 will be above. So when x is greater than 5, I will get this highlighted part of the graph. It will be bigger than 0. In the same way, going backwards, we've started 2 here. Anything this side of 2, so anything less than 2, the graph will be greater than 0. So I know that when x is less than 2, it will also be above the x-axis. So it will be greater than 0. So these are my two sets of answers. So when x is greater than 5 or when x is less than 2, this equation will be greater than 0. So I've gone through two examples there. And I'll have a few practice questions on this page for you to have a go at. Good luck.